audio out of sync in ScreenFlow, I'll show you how to fix it. This is an issue that's been bugging me for ages. I record using my Logitech C920 webcam every time to make sure I'm in sync. I do a little clap at the start. There you go, you can see the spike there. But when I play back, let's have a look if it's in sync or not. Was that in sync? No. You can see the spike there. When I'm over the spike, my hands should be together, but they're not. In fact, let's zoom right in on this and check. On my webcam, I always appear to be one, two, three frames out of sync between me actually clapping and the audio recording. So how do you fix this? Well, you could detach the audio and kind of just nudge it along like that, but that's just a process. It takes time <laughs> and I need to be as efficient as possible when editing. So I found a faster way. Uh, there is the spike, there is the clap, and I know that I'm about three frames out of sync. If you go into the audio mode here of ScreenFlow and drop down audio filters, you do not need to install any third-party plugins or software for this to the work. You're using a native Apple effect to delay your audio a little bit. So let's click add. Now I've got loads of plugins here, but if we search Apple, which is what you should see, you should see all these Apple effects by default. You should be on a Mac if you're using ScreenFlow, right? And you want to look for the effect called AU Sample Delay. This one here, AU Sample Delay. Click it and click Add. And then it's a really simple effect to use. You just type a number. It's as simple as that. So for three frames, I figured out that it's around 3,000 that you need to type. And watch now as my clap, which is currently aligned with my playhead here, will move when I click to process it. Give it a second to just process everything. And when it's done, there you go. You can see the spike moved along. Can you see the spike is now there? And when I move my playhead, you will see the spike now perfectly lines up with my clap smacking together like that. So it's a really simple way of syncing your audio. And then you don't have to worry about detaching audio or anything else like that. Everything will now be in sync. Let's just check. The wave splash. Yes, it's all in sync. That's perfect. So now I, I want this to happen every time. I don't want to have to go to audio filters, add, uh, put it in, type in a number. I just want it to be there for me. Well, that's where presets come in really handy. And they're here in this little QB box here. Click that, click the plus, and uh, it will say, do you want to add your audio filters? Yes, I do. Plus again, and I'm going to call this audio out of sync. That's my out of sync preset. And now every time... If I just delete that now, every time I go and I've uh, got a screen flow recording ready to mix, I just click my channel, my webcam channel with my audio. I go into presets, select audio out of sync, and boom, it applies the effect. It's done. Boom.